Here is a definition of a special type of random variable which is known as a standardized random variable. For a random variable x with population mean mu and positive population standard deviation sigma, the random variable x minus mu divided by sigma is called a standardized random variable which has mean 0 and standard deviation 1 when the expectations exist. Now the reason that we said that this has to have a positive population standard deviation sigma is we want to eliminate the possibility that you could have a zero population standard deviation sigma. If you ever got that you would be dividing by zero and that's why the definition avoids that. That is associated with what we called earlier as a degenerate distribution. It, it may not be immediately clear why the mean of this random variable is 0 and its standard deviation is 1. So let me go ahead and do quick proofs of those two results. First of all, what is the mean of this random variable? Well, 1 over sigma here is a constant. And you know with the expected value operator, you can pull a constant sigma out front so you can do so in that fashion and that leaves you with the expected value of x minus mu. Now the expected value is a linear operator so this becomes the expected value of x minus the expected value of mu. Well the expected value of x is just mu and when you take the expected value of mu, that's a constant, you also get mu. So this is 1 over sigma times 0, which is 0, and that gives you the first result. This random variable right here has mean 0. Now the second thing here is it has a standard deviation of 1. So let's figure out the variance, and then when you take the square root of it, you'll get the population standard deviation. Well, we still have that constant 1 over sigma, but because variance is a quadratic operator, that sigma, or 1 over sigma in this case, comes out squared. You know that adding or subtracting a constant from a random variable does not affect its variance. That's from the earlier result concerning the variance of ax plus b. So this will become 1 over sigma squared times the variance of x. But because sigma squared is the same as the variance of x, this is nothing more than 1. So since the population variance is 1, the population standard deviation is also 1. And those are two quick proofs of why this standardized random variable has mean 0 and standard deviation 1. Now one other thing to notice is that this particular random variable shows up quite a bit in introductory uh, probability and statistics books associated only with the normal distribution. What we have done here is we have defined the random variable, but it is associated with any random variable x having any distribution. So it's not just the normal distribution, it's the normal and the exponential and every distribution that you can think of has a standardized random variable x minus mu divided by sigma.